Now folks, many of you have been asking, when will President Biden pass a $200 social security raise? And how soon can Congress pass another spending bill? Well, in today's video, everybody, I'll be discussing the latest Fort Stimulus check news and information. So thank you so much for being here. And before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. The week of June 21st, the Senate will vote on S1, the For the People Act, legislation vital, vital to defending our democracy. On this channel, everybody, I do my best in providing you guys with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check news. Now, folks, there are several positive signs to indicate more money is coming to you. Democrats control the White House, the House of Representatives, and the U.S. Senate. They did pass the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, authorizing a third stimulus check without Republican support. Now they have the option to pass more partisan legislation through a process called budget reconciliation in the Senate. And that prevents Republicans from blocking a bill's advancement using a filibuster. As a result, if enough Democrats are on board for a fourth check, it very well could come to pass, even among strong GOP opposition. Now, my view is we should be talking about expanding Social Security across the board. But we also ought to be able to agree that it is long past time to expand survivor's benefits to age 22. Children who've lost their parents need to have a chance to be able to build a future for themselves without destroying the finances of their surviving parent or of their grandparents and others who step in to take care of them. So thank you very much for your work. Thank you for the report on this. And thank you, Mr. Chairman. And a growing number of lawmakers on the left have voiced their support for additional funding. In fact, more than 80 Democrats have already spoken out in favor of more direct payments. And Vice President Kamala Harris is among them, as Harris sponsored a bill that would provide a recurring payments. And with mounting pressure from his party, it is likely that President Biden could be pushed into including a fourth stimulus payment in upcoming infrastructure legislation. Politicians like to do popular things, and a fourth stimulus check will likely be very popular among Americans in the country. The proposal that they are going to send back to the White House tomorrow is going to look on paper like it is a lot larger than their initial proposal. Their initial proposal was about $550 billion over five years. This proposal, we're told, is going to be about a trillion dollars, but it's over eight years. Uh, and so you are already hearing from, from Democrats who say, well, you know, this is sleight of hand. They're just expanding the time frame. Uh, this is really very similar to what they put forward the first time. Well, In fact, millions of people recently signed a petition calling on Congress to pass legislation that will provide monthly stimulus checks of $2,000 per adult and $1,000 per dependent. Stimulus checks have also polled very well in the past. The U.S. economic recovery could be slower than desired, as recent disappointing jobs numbers show things are now returning to normal right away for workers. The new spending will be paid for in part by $3.6 trillion in additional revenues over the same period. And the result will be a net deficit of $1.4 trillion, which will be shrinking after 2030. Biden will include $300 billion of the $5 trillion total in his budget request to Congress for fiscal year 2022. And this will bring the president's total budget request for next year to $6 trillion. I think you had Shelly Moore Capito on your program earlier today. She's our leader on the infrastructure bipartisan negotiation. Uh, out of her committee uh, came a traditional infrastructure package just this week. We also are engaged with the administration trying to reach an agreement. Part of the problem, as you suggest, is what is the definition of infrastructure? Uh, we pretty much understand it's roads, bridges, ports, imp, uh, broadband, uh, traditional infrastructure. The Democrats would like to spend a lot more. Speaking of their spending habits, so far this administration has recommended, recommended we spend seven trillion additional dollars this year. Now Biden's budget also projects that inflation will reach no more than 2.3% annually over the next 10 years, reflecting the administration's belief that concerns among some economists about runaway inflation are overblown. Like in all presidential budgets, the vast majority of the money in Biden's 2022 budget request will be spent on programs that the federal government is obligated to fund, including Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Beyond those, Biden has requested $1.5 trillion in discretionary funds 
half of which is slated for defense. If that's the expectation, I'm not saying that that's your, your game plan, but if that's, that's what you think is probably going to happen, there's still an issue of party unity that might, become, that might be difficult and more difficult with infrastructure than with COVID relief. Progressives such as yourself want to go big. There are more centrist Democrats, Joe Manchin, for example, who has proved himself to be you know, in a real position of power, uh, worried about cost. Um, Manchin says it's incredibly important to him to make this bill bipartisan. Your committee is going to play a key role in the process. Are you confident every Senate Democrat is going to support this bill when it comes time to vote, including Manchin? Well, you'll have to talk to Mr. Manchin, but I, I, I think that at the end of the day, you know, you got 50 Democrats in the caucus, so any one of them can say, you know, I'm not supporting this. But we all understand that in this unprecedented moment in American history, when we have gone through the worst year uh, in the modern history of this country with so many people dying and getting sick and our economy tanking, that we have got to work with the president on an agenda that speaks to the needs of the working class and the middle class and low income people who have for so many years really had their needs ignored. So I am confident, look, there are differences of opinion. Every one of the Democrats has a different point of view. But at the end of the day, I think Schumer has, Chuck Schumer has been doing a good job trying to bring people together to say, you know what, the future of America is at stake. The future of American democracy is at stake. Because so many people have reached the conclusion that government- Chair reminds members that the House is following the guidance of the attending physician who has stated that the present mask requirements and other guidelines remain unchanged in the hall of the house until all members everybody progressive lawmakers are ready to pull the plug on president biden's weeks of infrastructure negotiations with the republican lawmakers liberal democrats are speaking out at an awkward time that is as biden's cabinet officials held their latest talks with senate republicans today but many of them have already moved on from the white house's effort at bipartisanship this week the biden administration demonstrated the kind of positive difference that a smart approach to our tax system can make. Now, starting on July 15th, the federal government is going to provide expanded child tax credit payments, and will do so in the form of monthly installments through the end of this year. Through the end of this year, an estimated 39 million households, home to nearly 90% of children in the United States, are due to receive these benefits, with one in seven children living in poverty. In addition, everybody, I want you to know that the child tax credit has been around for many years now. It was first established as a $400 credit to reduce families' income tax burden and help them afford the additional cost of raising children. And while the credit has been expanded over the years, it has consistently been too small and left out millions and left out millions of low-income families. But thanks to President Biden's American Rescue Plan, the new expansion enacted addresses the first issue with an annual increase from $2,000 to $3,000 per each dependent. 